Hi guys and welcome back to Technology Reviews. Thanks to everyone who watched my last video of my review of the Xbox Elite Series 2 controller and if you haven't seen that yet the link for it is in the description and a card for it will be appearing on your screen now and as you can tell from the title of this video this is my experiment with adaptive gaming where I will be trying out how accessible Velcro trays and clamps make it to game everything you see in today's video. I have been loaned by a UK charity called Special Effects. But before we get into the video, here's where you can follow me if you like what you see here. First of all, you can subscribe to my youtube channel where you will hopefully be watching this by searching for Phoebe's does technology reviews on youtube and you can also find us on technology reviews.co.uk which is my site for the blog technology reviews if you also then if you also want to follow me my personal twitter is at feeds lyle and you can also follow technology reviews on twitter at, at tech reviews uk with the hyphen I'm also on Instagram where you can follow me at the real Phoebe Lyle. And if you want to follow technology reviews on there, you can do so by searching for Technology Reviews UK. I'm also trying to start a podcast for this blog which you can find if you search for my Phoebe Lyle SoundCloud account. But now, let's get into the video. So although I've been loaned the tray and clamp that I've been using by Special Effect, which is a UK charity to help disabled people get back into gaming, they're actually made by a company called Maxis, which you can see here. And uh, they can also be purchased either through Maxis themselves or through inclusive technology. Or a couple of other online shops that we have developed in partnership with therapists and switch users. The Maxis switch tray and switch mounts enabled the controller or switches to be securely positioned and repositioned in the most efficient and comfortable way for the user. And as someone who has recently been gaming this way, I can say that it is actually good for what it is. You don't only have to position switches on your clamps because I position my Elite controller on it to play instead. And... Yeah, since doing it, I felt like the controller doesn't shake as much or move, whereas before, when I would just hold my controller against a box, 
that always slept and became difficult. The switch tray is available in 540mm by 290 in 350 by 350 and in 240 by 360 and you can also get the small switch mount, a medium switch mount and a large switch mount. There will be clips of me using these appearing on all my social medias in the next few days. The Maxis switch tray costs between 30 to 40 pounds depending on what size you get and you get the switch clamp separately which costs about 16 to 21 points depending on which one you get uh, but like overall guys I'm happy with it and uh, this is us done now for another video so thanks for checking this video out and I will post when the next video will be on my social medias so yeah this is us all thanks and bye